In this video, we're going to learn how to create a 3D model from an image that you've either downloaded from the internet or created yourself in something like Photoshop or Illustrator. So here you can see I have an outline of an alien. and I found this by simply typing in alien outline PNG. And the reason I've used PNG is because I want the transparent background around the image. I don't want this checkerboard effect. Um, and if I right click on the image and go open image in new tab, you can see here at the end of the file name, you've got .jpg, .jpg, and that means that it won't give you this transparent background. You'll have the checkerboard as part of the image, and we don't want that. So instead, if I simply click on the link to go to the website with the image itself, I can then download the PNG from the website directly to my computer. So if I click the download button, it will go to my downloads folder, so I downloaded the image before, you can see it here, alien.png, and then I copy and paste that to my desktop, and I'll keep it in a folder called alien. So here it is again, alien.png, in a folder on my desktop. Now I want to open this in Illustrator. I can do that by going into Illustrator and hitting File Open, and then finding the file, or more quickly, right-clicking on the file itself, and then go to Open with Illustrator. So here the image is opened. Um, I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole page. So I'm going to hit Command and Minus to zoom out slightly. And in the far right hand side of the screen, you can see there are um, four or five options. Unembed, Mask, Crop Image, Image Trace, and Arrange. If you click on the background and deselect the, um, the alien, those, images dis those options disappear. So click back on the alien and, and they reappear. So the first thing you need to do is click image trace and from the list select black and white logo. So Illustrator is now traced around the image and now we're going to um, create the, the path, the lines around the image itself that we can color in. So then click expand. Now you can go to the um, direct selection tool which is the white arrow in the top left hand of the screen and you can see that all of the paths are now highlighted that make up the image. So I'm going to click on the background to deselect everything. And then I can move the cursor over the image and I can select the, the path um, around the, uh, the image itself, the actual box, the background of the image. So I'll click on the path, highlight that, press delete. So that's the first one gone. Click on the top one, press delete, and the rest of the box is gone. So now I'm just left with the alien itself on the canvas. Now I could just make a 3D model from this now. Um, and if I click on the alien body, you can see there I've got the fill color set to black. The eyes are two separate shapes. But I'm going to draw on this just to edit it slightly. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool to just give it some, some eyes, basically. So click on the ellipse tool. Uh, and then I'm going to change the fill color to black. And I'm just going to draw um, two circles. Just give it some eyes, just so you can see that I can draw on this. Um, and it will add these changes. So there we go, um, there is my alien finished. Uh, so I'm going to save this now as an SVG file. So click File, Save As, give it a file name. So mine's already alien, but where it says .ai, an Illustrator file, we need to change that down towards the bottom of the window where it says Format. So change that to SVG. So now it's called alien.svg. The format is an SVG file. I'll save it in my alien folder along with the PNG version. And then just click Save. When you get the SVG options, ignore those. Click OK. Now go to your alien folder and you can see you've got two images in there. Alien PNG and alien.svg. I'm going to open the SVG file in some 3D modeling software. So for this activity, I'm going to use Tinkercad. So if you go to Tinkercad, and you can find the Tinkercad website by just typing Tinkercad into uh, Google, and, and it will pop up in a search. Um, here is the Tinkercad um, template. First thing I'm going to do is change this fantastic Jake's weird file name it's given itself. I'm going to delete that, and I'm just going to call it Alien. So to something that makes sense. And then I'm going to go to the far right hand side of the screen and click import and then choose a file. 
Now you can see alien PNG is greyed out because that can't be opened by Tinkercad, but the SVG file can. So select that and then click Open. Ignore the options you're given, simply click Import, and it will import the image as a 3D model. So here you can see it's too large and we'll resize it in a moment. But you can see it's already given it some thickness. So if I just zoom out here, you can see my full alien figure there. Um, and I can just click on it um, and it gives me some options to resize it. So I'm just going to click the, the corner option and I'm just going to resize the alien. And then you click on one of the parts of the alien that aren't covered with one of these little dots so that you're able to move it around on the um, the the canvas, the Tinkercad canvas. And I can zoom in and out by using my scroll wheel on my mouse. Now I want to look at this top down. So the box, the cube in the top left hand side of the screen, if I click on top I can look at this um, from a top down view and then I can zoom out and there is my alien. So I'm just going to move that up slightly. So what I want to do is print this on a 3D printer but I want to glue it to an actual um, base, just a, a little counter that I've printed out. Um, and the feet aren't perfectly flat, they're curved. Now I could have flattened these in Illustrator, but I didn't because I can do it here. So I'm going to click um, on the uh, box tool here in the far right hand side of the screen. I'm going to click to draw a small box, just click and the box will appear. And I'm going to resize the box so it intersects through the bottom of the alien's feet. So I'm just adjusting the size of the box here. So here we've got a box and the alien. So click on the alien to select it, hold the shift key and um, click on the box. There we go. So they're both selected and where you see group, the button at the top right hand side of the screen, the shortcut is control G or command G, just click group and the box disappears because the, they've become one shape and the box was invisible. It was a, a, an empty space. And you can see it's chopped off that part of its feet that were in the box. So now I've got perfectly flat um, feet on the alien. Now I could stand that up on a counter that I printed and glue it without it looking strange. So the, the last step is to um, click export. And you'll see two options, download and 3D print. I know we're going to be using a 3D printer for this, but ignore that. Stay in the download window and click STL. So download STL. And it will download to your downloads folder on your computer. So there it is. You can see it in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, alien.stl. So I'm going to click on the little up arrow, go show in Finder. And there it is. I'm going to just copy that. So copy alien STL. I'll go to my desktop and I'm going to pop that by pasting it into my folder. So now I've got three different files uh, and the STL file is the one I want. So now I'm going to um, right click that, uh, go open with, and I'm gonna open it in flash print. So I have two versions of flash print on my computer. You probably only have one. The most recent one is flash print five. So open with flash print. And there we go, there's the alien in the slicer software. So now I can um, use the scale tool uh, and I can make it bigger or smaller. So there it is on the print plate. So I just want this flat alien model um, and it's, it's ready to print. There we go. Um, so if you click start slicing, the button at the top of the screen, ignore the options, just hit slice. There we go. And then local save, save to local. And again in the alien folder um, or wherever you want to save it give it a file name so save as this one is a GX file so then just hit save and now if I go to my finder window you can see I have four versions of this file I've got the original one I downloaded from the internet the SVG image I created in Illustrator the STL file I created in Tinkercad and then finally the GX file and this is the one that you copy and paste onto a USB drive or an SD card for use with the 3D printer and it's that simple so there we go you have a, a 3D model um, from an image that you created try it for yourself